<laughs> yes, my good brother. That's why I want to get it and give it to uh, uh show me where the signs show um the word. Sometimes if you go to the shop, they tell them, ah, don't give me a Muzungu price. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. Uh, I wish you were saying. Hey, um, the yeah. sh member family, the sh we, 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 we'll be able to get you. Remember, we said we were shopping. Remember, we said we were shopping. Because I told you to say we were Yeah, because the places that we have, we're, we're going to take it to the Abolish. Yeah. But you know what I mean? I'm trying to avoid. And all of these shops, the price is so uh, uh, negotiable. Yeah. Yeah, negotiable. Because. Sometimes people take it, you know, but I do understand people want to get everything shopped, but we're always going to make sure you yeah. get everything that you need in shopping. But the temptation, family, is you'll stop, stop, next thing it'll be 5 o'clock. And then you didn't get your lunch, so let, let them grab one or two shopping things. And then... Man, brother, this thing's shaped maze. Oops, sorry. And step on anybody, prayer clock. So you're looking like, where do you go? It's a maze. <laughs> I'm serious maze, man. Cat is chilling. You got the Barack Obama right here. They ain't playing around, right? That's 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 a that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a cousin. Right, right. You know him? Yeah, of course. Let's talk about let's talk about Barack Obama. Uh, when he started his uh, campaign, there's uh, one guy called uh, Obama as well at uh, Serena Hotel. So he makes uh, he makes a campaign there. Right. <laughs> but after Barack Obama for his first uh, time, first uh, four years, and uh, because the network was so big, and after Barama, Barack Obama won, that guy he got a visa and then he go to the state. Oh, he went to the state. Hey, oh, hey, yeah. hey, little one. We make a lot of campaigns here in Zanzibar as well. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I thought a, like, a, I thought a cat jumped up. Out. <laughs> you, you got something going on with you and the cats, bro. <laughs> you, yo, yo, I was in the Gambia and I laid my food outside my room, and next thing I turn around, my, a cat is eating my food. Yeah. Man, I chased that cat, man, I was gonna gut him. <laughs> you take, hey, uh, tell him what happened to me this morning. The cat eats your breakfast? Food. Oh, yeah. Tell, tell him what happened. The bird came by. Sloop down. Snap, snatch your sausage. Just took it out of the plate. Took it out the plate and it flew off. <laughs> took it out. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. You got what you needed? Ready? Thank you very much. Absolutely, my sister. Absolutely. Sweet Sweet banana. Sweet banana. Yeah. yeah. Asante sana. 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 Sweet banana. Sweet banana. Don't say hapana. Don't, don't, don't like say her she's I never, <laughs> I never, what? Oh, don't drink my wine. Don't drink my wine. Wow, okay. Don't drink my wine. Let's talk about my rock cup. Oh, 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 Twist like banana, don't say Havana. Yeah, yeah. Oh. The wiring in these buildings are wild, yo. Yeah, man, this is You never know what goes where. Yeah. Oh, this is an electrical nightmare. They show you how uh, ancient the city is. You know, on the stage, you gotta put them in pipes. Yeah. So where? Anything outside, you gotta put in a pipe. Yeah. So, this is nothing compared to India. Oh, when, uh, oh is it that bad? Everything, it's ain't, everything like ocean? Everything yeah. like ancient? What city? No, I mean the wiring. You were talking oh, oh, about oh. the well, You were talking about the wiring. Yeah, the yeah, wiring. Yeah, yeah, this, uh, this is a fire hazard as a, a technician. It's a fire hazard. I can't see the lady here. I can't see the woman. Which one? There's one. Wow. There she is. Oh, I got... <laughs> I think I saw her, uh, We're trying to make Princess sure. Salam. Princess Salam. Museum. We're trying to avoid. And now. 
I was looking at her in the museum. They said uh, she wrote a book about her life. Yeah. So Princess Salme was Arab, and that uh, she was a daughter from the first Sultan, Sultan Sayyid Sultan, from 1804 to 1856. And uh, she was born here in Zanzibar, in his first palace at Mtoni area, and she was born in 1844 and died in 1994. So after she became elder, she moved out from Tony Palace to Stone Town. So in Stone Town, the house where she used to live, there was uh, another house where the German trader lived in there. So later, both German and princess were falling in love one after each, so they were chanting through the window. And uh, by that time, in our plantation area, a place called Kizimbani, the first sultan with the two passion parties and the beautiful houses. So Princess Salma used to invite her friend German to go and spend the time during the weekend. And uh, a few months later, rumors came out that the princess, she is pregnant. So after the royal family had the news, one woman from the royal family was asked to go and ask her if she's pregnant. And if she's pregnant, the results should, the results should be punished. So the lady went to ask about the princess Salme, and princess Salme, she said, yes, I am pregnant. She didn't hide anything. And uh, after princess Salme had the news, she moved out and then she went to the British consulate to express her concern. And uh, later the British consulate made a phone call to the one of the British marine ship because by that time Zanzibar was a British protected race, a lot of British marine ship. So tonight the ship came and Princess Simon she made a secret departure to Aden, Yemen. And she lived there almost six months while her friend was here. And after three months her friend German followed her to, Jeff, to Aden, Yemen. And uh, she wanted to get married but her princess she was uh, Islam. So she waited until she... she I mean he waited until she... I mean, uh, she converted into a Christian. Then Princess Salme, she had been converted into a Christian. And after that, she went. They get married, and then they went to German. Happy ending. Yeah, yeah. Happy ending. Yeah, yeah. But uh, they got uh, three, ch three, three children, two daughters and one son. And after that, her husband got a bad accident. It was a horse carriage. And uh, he has been taken to the hospital for three days, admitted there. And after that, uh, her husband died. Wow. So after, oh, after he died, the princess had a terrible situation. But uh, there's no way. But uh, after a few years later, Princess Salme, she came back to Zanzibar. She was not sorry. She couldn't come back straight. She was asking the permission to the second sister, Magic. But Magic said, no way back. And uh, Princess Salme, she was also more diplomatic to make sure that uh, she might come back. But until, it is, uh, until the regime of the second sister, no way back. She waited until the third sister, Barash. Barash allowed her sister to come back to Zanzibar, so she was really, really happy to come. But uh, when she came to Zanzibar again, she took her own tour. She was all around Zanzibar, Stone Town, and then she went to the house where she was uh, living. She was, uh, she was born there, but she found her house was uh, ruined already. And then back to town, and after that, uh, she moved out straight to Aden. Sorry, straight to Syria. She, so she couldn't go straight to German. She passed by. She went to Syria, and uh, in Syria she was li living there almost uh, 20 years. Mm -hmm. So during 20 years of her life there, she wrote uh, three books. So the first book, it was herself, and the book was written a memory of an Arabian princess, Shaida yeah. Salme. Mm -hmm. That's the first book. Second book was a uh, Syria custom, and the last one was a uh, letter home. But these two books we can get. Uh, in Zanzibar, but we can get in abroad. And after that, she back to German, while she couldn't live any longer, and she died at the age of uh, 80. Uh, eight. Zero. Eight. Only oh, 80, 80. Yes. So uh, only a packet of sand has been collected to the house where she was born here in Zanzibar, and they were sent to German on her grave. Yeah, yeah. So this is how. Yeah. All right, so family, uh, be mindful you walk in uh, construction going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep your. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, this is crazy, yeah. What I'm saying it's dangerous in the whole town because a lot of things, a lot of buildings are falling apart. And after I heard about the house on one of this incident, I was like, yo, we just have to make sure we move smooth. Something falling, run. Ain't, ain't. We didn't come on holiday to get injured or hurt, or even worse, deceased. Yeah. Right. 
the good. <laughs> smoke. Oh my god. Uh. Uh. Alright, cool. Let's get you to let's go get you some let's go get us some lunch. Alright, this is Zen food lover Mama Choma. Yes, this is nice menu. Nice, nice menu. Nice menu. Oh no, you guys cook cats? No, no, me no eat no cats. This here. Now it's in the now it's in the yeah. There's a one building painted white. Now it's finished. Mm -hmm. Zenu food lovers. Who are these guys in a military outfit? Are they security personnel? Security. Yeah. Oh, security. Okay. These guys look very young. Yeah. I thought it was like maybe um tourists. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cooler. Um, they have, they have modified the space and made it into all kinds of things. Look at that little, high, look at that high rise up there. <laughs> it's kind of like in Brazil, they just stack stuff on top of each other. Yeah, and go to the favelas. Yes, Mr. Boma, we're about to go to your favorite, we're almost at your favorite place in the world. You know what that is? Six degrees south. And one of the things, uh, family, while you're in Zanzibar, very safe. Uh, you have lots of security everywhere, and um, police and military personnel. So one of the things that we love about this area, you know, when you're moving around, you feel completely safe. And you know, we never take anywhere to endanger your life or put you in any situation. Uh, so we just want to show you that, that way if you're looking to make a move with us, you know you're good. Uh, Sharif, uh, is, um, is Stone Town the oldest city in uh, Tanzania, Zanzibar? Uh, Stone Town is uh, different. Yeah, it's different. It's one of the, old, it's one of the oldest cities because I don't think I've seen anywhere in uh, Tanzania. Yeah, this is the old one. That's yeah, any, old as city. old as this. Yeah, then Tanzania. Because what I see is just nothing but just maintenance yeah. everywhere. Yeah. And that's also some of, the, uh, some of these buildings yeah. that were at museums. Oh, yes, sir. I think you lose. Where the woman them there? I have no idea. Uh, uh, shirt, All right, we're good. I'll make it and, and some of these forts and dungeons, historically, straight this uh, slave trade. So when we finish our lunch, we're going to talk about some of these historical buildings. Stone Town Conservation and Development Authority.